Hello students, in this video we'll see how to classify conic sections. A conic section is the intersection of a cone, and we'll say the cone is this form, z equals the square root of x squared plus y squared, for example, that's the top half of a cone, with a plane. z equals ax plus by plus c. If we set these equations equal, we see the general form of a conic section is some number ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. And now it's important for us to understand this principal part, this principal quadratic part, is a quadratic form. This can be written as a one row by two column matrix, x, y, times a two by two matrix, a, b over two, b over two, a, x, y. This is a two by two matrix and a two by one vector. So I have a row vector over here. I have the same column, the corresponding column vector over here. And so if we multiply this out, we'll get the, exactly this expression. And so remember we have a two, one by two, two by two, that results in a one by two, and then a two by one and a one by, a one by two and a two by one results in a one by one, which is just a scalar. And that scalar is exactly equal to this. Now we can classify the conic section by the eigenvalues of this matrix. And this of course is not an A, this of course is going to be a C over here, that's going to be a C. And so what we can say is we can say the eigenvalues of this matrix, A, B over 2, B over 2, C, are solutions to determinant of A, X, B over 2, B over 2, C minus X equals 0. If the eigenvalues are, if the eigenvalues are both positive, or both negative, you have an ellipse. If one's positive and one negative implies that you have a hyperbola, and one zero and one non-zero implies that you have a parabola. So let's do an example of this. Here's an example. Let's classify. Let's classify 2x squared minus 4xy plus 7y squared, and the linear terms are irrelevant equals 3, just make up something like this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to form our matrix over here. The matrix that we get is going to be a 2, then a negative 2, then a negative 2, then a 7. So let's find the eigenvalues of this matrix. We find the eigenvalues by computing the determinants of 2 minus x, negative 2, negative 2, and 7 minus x, and set that equal to 0. So if we do this, what we get? We'll have this times this. So that'll be a 2 minus x times 7 minus x, and then minus minus 2 is going to be a total of minus 4 is equal to 0. So if we multiply this out, we'll have an x squared minus 9x, and I'll have 14, so 7 times 2 is 14. 14 minus 4 is going to be a plus 10 is equal to 0. And so what we can do is we can solve this by using the quadratic formula. So that will tell us, the quadratic formula tells us that x is equal to 9 plus or minus the square root of b squared. 
So b squared is going to be 81 minus 4ac. So it's going to be a 40, all divided by 2. And now what we see over here is this is going to be 9. So x is going to be 9 plus or minus the square root of 41, all divided by 2. And so from this, we see that the square root of 41 is between 6 and 7. So we'll have 9 plus or minus 6 or plus or minus 7. That's going to be positive. And then 9 minus 6 or 7 is also positive. So both these numbers over here are positive. So we have eigenvalues which are both positive. Therefore, this is classified, this shape, will be an ellipse when you plot it. You can dive a little bit deeper into this and see that if you can find something called the eigenvectors of this matrix, the eigenvectors of this matrix will be the principal axes of that ellipse. Thank you very much.